and welcome back to my stream um okay there it is i was going to be like why the hell is the game not showing up but it's there it is there and it is pretty and we shall enjoy it today but welcome welcome everybody i hope you all are having a uh good week so far i know we only just started but um at the very least i hope you all are having a better a better time than i am uh it is fucking freezing where I am and by where I am I mean in my body <laughs> like I have I, I made the mistake of drinking some cold juice like four hours ago and I have been shivering in my core sense so I made myself some hot chocolate So anyway, other than that, 
Um, announcements. Let's see here. Announcements. Announcements. Um, 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 um. Uh. <laughs> can't relate. No, you can't relate. Not at all. You also live, like, much, much higher in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, not altitude. You live further north than I do. Much further. So, your problem is different. Mine is just, I, uh, I suck. <laughs> Apparently, I'm getting, uh, actually, I, I'm worried I might be getting sick, because uh, I only start to shiver like this. There are two things that cause me to shiver like this. One, uh, I just wake up that way, but I'm worried that I'm getting a light cold again. Yes, I know, not again, but... That said, my room is not an insul- This room here is not an insulated room. And it is on the outside of the house. So it very much, like, cold comes in and I feel it. So, actually, what is the current temperature outside? According to Google. According to Google, it is currently 39 degrees where I live. And that is Fahrenheit, not Celsius. Um, of course, but yeah, we had snow this weekend. I, it was, it was a trip, but, um, it get it's fucking cold here. <laughs> There's a lot of work that needs to be done in this, in this room, specifically this room. Um, for for everyone's benefit, I may have explained this to you, Yvonne, before, but my room is this room, which is also my room. I have a bed over there. Um, yes, welcome to my bedroom, everybody. Um, ew, scandalous. Um, this whole room was an add-on to the rest of the house, and it was added on by the previous owner, who did the work, like 99% of the work himself. And he did it very poorly. The windows are practically falling out. The walls barely stand. And I'm like, they, if they have insulation in there, it's not insulated proper properly. Like the, sh I have a, a, there's a bathroom that's like right on the other side of this wall that this bookcase is against. And it didn't, he didn't have it hooked up to hot water. Um, and a whole bunch of bunch of shit like that. He painted he painted the windows shut in the house. Like he did all the things you're not supposed to do when doing the work yourself, basically. And it it's a mess. There's a lot that needs to get done. Um, but anyway, uh, yes. So if I'm seen shivering, that is why. Uh, that is also why I currently don't have water because water cold. <laughs> water 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 cold. Uh-huh. I knew you'd be able to relate to that, Yvonne. Anyway. Uh, announcements. 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 Um. Oh! As you may or may not be aware, um, I am streaming on a new schedule. Uh, started last week. Uh, did a, a few more edits to it, uh, end of last week. Um. My current, my new schedule, my new streaming schedule currently is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, not Thursday, Friday, all at 7 p.m. ish Central Time. Um, the ish is a big ol' ish, uh, which is that I'm aiming for seven, but I'm not really like going to kill myself to get there, to get it at seven exactly. So when i can around around the time of seven some days maybe earlier some days maybe later that's 8 p.m eastern for those who live in eastern time zone are, are you trying to and are you trying to imply that normal people live in the eastern time zone you know i've lived in the eastern time zone ain't nobody normal ever been in the eastern time zone
But anyway. Um. So yes, 7 p.m. Central ish, big ol' ish. Um. I had a. Uh, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm still playing the same games. Uh, Assassin's Creed on Monday, Tomb Raider Tuesdays, Watch Dogs Wednesdays, and Shadow of War on Fridays. But Thursdays have been a bit of a struggle lately. And so I decided to just change it to Friday. Um, I have been want. There is another game I've been wanting to start to play um, I don't know when or where or anything like that. Um, I have yet to figure it out, but be paying attention for uh, announcements from me involving uh, this game. Uh, Yvonne, actually, I've been meaning to talk to you about this game. Um, I was thinking that it might be fun to have you in the Discord chat when I stream it. Kind of like you just hanging out and vibing and watching while I... What's the game? Uh, the game is Sonic Origins. And it's going to be a 100% 100 of it is going to be a complete nostalgia trip for me. And I basically, I need somebody there to be normal. <laughs> And also potentially hilarious while mocking me and my nostalgia squeeze. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I have, I, in addition to figuring out, uh, like stream schedule stuff involving that, I have actually reached out to, uh, I've, I've had to do some research to make sure that it's actually okay. Because for those of you who don't know, Sonic Origins is a re release or remaster ish of the classic Sega games um, that were for Sega Genesis and Sega CD. Um, that would be Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles, as well as uh, Sonic CD. Um, those are the games that are in there, uh, that, that are in there. And um, because of how old those games are, copyright is still is a thing. Um, and I don't want to risk getting in trouble with Sega or other copyright holders for music and things like that. Especially because there was a big scandal in, with Sonic 3 involving music or, supposedly originally written by Michael Jackson. Um, for the game. Specifically for the game. And it was during the whole trial mess and Sega distanced themselves from him and it was there's a whole mess of that so I don't want I don't want to risk getting dragged into some copyright bullshit uh about that game I've done some research and I've reached out to some people and I'm just waiting on word back so we'll see we'll see if I actually do be able to stream it I might just have to sad uh uh be satisfied with just doing it my own damn self in my own damn privacy. How dare. What? Playing games not streaming them? That doesn't sound... That that sounds fake. Anyway. um, So yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. It's 7 p.m.-ish. Um, other announcements. I had one. Oh, I'm getting a filling on Thursday. That's not an announcement, just a random thought that entered my head. Uh, filling on Thursday. You're welcome for that. Uh, absolutely need to know information. Um, it's not a big filling. It's just my teeth. My dentists love my teeth because my teeth apparently don't get cavities often. And this is just a like they were. It took like three, two, two three, four people prodding my tooth with the uh with their little metal jabby toothpick thing to be like is that a cavity or is it just his tooth and they finally just said we'll fill it just in case <laughs> it was funny 
Anyway. Um. I think I should stop procrastinating, don't you think? Don't you? <laughs> That's concerning. No, it's not. My t what it is is my teeth. Um, I'm one of those people who, with my teeth, um, uh, my teeth are. Uh, I have good genes when it comes to my teeth. Let me just put it that way. Okay, so <laughs> stuff that I have done between last uh, last stream and this one, I went through. Edward, let go of the wheel. Edward, let go of the wheel. Edward, Edward, let go of the wheel. Um, I have gone through these uh, buried treasure things, and I've done all but two of them. Oh, I guess. Eh, maybe, but eh. Anyway, um, they, I feel I I did all but two of them, and these are for places that I can't go yet because storyline. Um, so we'll get to those eventually. Um, I have gone through completed. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong thing. I want the menu. I want progress tracker. That's what I want. I've gone through, completed all the side missions that are currently available. I have completed uh, secondary locations and side activities that are all available. Uh, naval forts and everything. The only thing that is left are the buried chests that I was just talking about. And the main storyline. Now, there was also one thing that I forgot that I had completely missed on the map. Um, so, we've been to this island, Sacrifice Island. We've been to this island, Black Island. There is yet another that I completely forgot about. Mystery Island. And there are no others, yes. So, we be go making our way to Mystery Island. He says in a probably not at all insulting and insensitive voice from history. Men, listen to me. I'll sing you a song of the fish in the sea. It's windy weather, like stormy weather, boys. Blow you winds blow. Up jumps the wheel. Windy weather, my stormy weather, boys. Oh, he winds blow. <laughs> Windy weather. to Mystery Island. Okay. All right, let's look at the map here. Get this. Hmm. 
Oh, putty cat. Excuse me. Alrighty. So we be here. Here we be. Way hey up, she rises. Way hey up, she rises. Way hey up, she rises. Or lie in the morning. Way hey up she rises. Way hey up she rises. Way hey up she rises or lie in the morning. Put them in the scuppers with the hose pop on him. Put them in the scuppers with the hose pop on him. Put them in the scuppers with the hose pop on him or lie in the morning. Treasure chest! Push the button. The revenge of sails now be available in the captain's cabin. Lol. Bonnet's attire. Good old Steed Bonnet. Good old Steed. I'm gonna be seeing him in a minute or two when I go uh, save Blackbeard. Hey, fellas, I got next. Or, you know, screw it all. You can, you guys can just all come at me at once. Ow, rude.
Bill. Well. Don't kill me. Please. Mercy. No. Don't worry, I'm not going to. Long as you don't attack me. We're good. Alright, so those are those. I believe that's everything. I didn't see any other chests. Ooh, that one was in the groin. I kind of feel bad about that one. Kind of. A little bit. Not really. I will loot your ammo, sir. Thanks for the lurk, Yvonne. Captain Trick. Good old Captain's Trick. I'm so sorry, fellas. My bad. Oh, wait, that's the wrong thing. Wait, no, there's not. I want to see Steve Bonnet's outfit. I don't think we got any weapons from him. No, we didn't. Um... Steed Bonnet's attire. Oh, buddy! <laughs> Sad face. Ah, uh, yours is a grand life, Duncan. <laughs> Mr. Walpool. The Revenge of Sails. Old Steed Bonnet. All right. So we did the thing. Um, is there anything else I want to do? Or we'll go to here and then sail down to where we have to save Blackbeard to continue the story. For once. Let's ride this blow More sail. Away your anchor. Away your Your course. 
Merci. Attacked. Other way round. It were Blackbeard who struck first. Open fire on a British man of war, the pillock. What in God's name for? Still searching for medicines, but he's gone bar me if you ask me. I'll bring him home. Leave him, man. He's heaped this trouble on himself. But he my friend. Rescue five survivors. Got it. Oh, hey, my friend. We must protect, friend. Captain, there's a wreck yonder. Looks recent. I see it. Let's hope Thatch hasn't come to the same end. One. Another bit of wreckage, Captain. This is looking grim. Aye. Keep your eyes peeled. This is getting well out of hand. A dozen crates of medicine should not be so hard to come back. That ain't my idea. It's Thatch and Hornigold in this pointless feud of theirs. How do you feel? I do, I. But both men have their hearts in a good place. Both want the best for the people of Thatch. But is that the best course for us? Saving a city that ain't worth much. We're not men made to govern. We take and spend and live heartily wherever we go. What solution would you do? The answer's in wealth, power, not politics. If we found the observatory, we'd see enough money to buy the whole thing. Or it might be, we'd lord over these kings and emperors like they was passing it themselves. A lot of large talk, Captain. But is it your crew you sail for, or yourself? I mean the best for these men, are they? I do. This don't sit well. Come on. I know you're in the wind. There we go. Ease the spanker. Hold down. Ease the spanker. That's what she said. Come on, you young sailor men, listen to me. I'll sing you a song of the fish in the sea and this windy weather, the stormy weather, boys. When the wind blows, they're all together, boys. Make sure there's no other optional stuff. Moment, okay. Oh, you young salmon men, 
Listen to me. Sing you a song of the fish in the sea. Adek, see that? It's her captain, Queen Anne's revenge. And she's in a bad way. No time for a boat. That is outnumbered. The crew will understand. Beat the quarters, lads. We're sailing into hell. Main sail. Manual stay. Cliff, get a head start. Come on. That is overwhelmed. Going ashore. I'll keep the jack off swiftly. Killed guards and killed guards stung by smoke bombs. Push the button! Steed, come on, my boy. Now, with how much work I have done to, the, to my Jackdaw and upgrading it, I know my Jackdaw is a much stronger ship than, uh, than Blackbeard's at this point. Um, however, At this point, you're supposed to be feeling like this is an overpowered example of what you'll cut, what you can get your ship to be, essentially. And it's a little fun. However, I, being my own weirdness, that bastard with all the wind you've got because they didn't Okay, that's fine. Kenway. There we go. There we go. You'll be 
hanged and sun dried. This is them that were in Boston. The king's called for a part. <laughs> Captain, we've searched the hold. It's a middle intake. But the medicine we found bears a Charles Town stamp. Thank you, Mr. Hans. I love that his guy is literally named Mr. Hands. By force and accident alone. We should go to Charlestown for the lot. Hello? Uh, are we victorious? I fear I am not built for the fatigue and care required to live as a man of fortune. Meet me in Charlestown. One month from today. Oh, Steed! With his little short dagger! Oh, buddy. Buddy. All right. Um. All right. Do we have anything else to do on this map at the moment? No. Okay. <laughs> Anyone want to pick some fights on our way up to Charlestown? Yeah, not that one. Nah. Good man, say. Weaver, Johnny Weaver. Yeah, that's wreck. Oh, that slow motion shot. That was just for a bit of fun. There will be an ad starting in about 15 seconds for those watching on Twitch. Rises way hey, and up she rises way hey, and up she rises early in the morning. What do we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? Way hey, and up she rises way hey, and up she rises. Way hey, and up she rises early in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him early in the morning. Way hey, and up she rises. Way hey, and up she rises. Way hey, and up she rises early in the morning. Nerp. Nope. But I'm, 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 but I'm,
get fucked. Yeah, I'll go ahead and board that one. Oh, wait. I got three more shots. Eh. Nope, missed. Damn. Okay, fine. Come on, bring it red. There we go. And there we go. Uh, yeah, fuck it. We'll go ahead and repair. So I have a big enough fleet. I don't need to worry about sending ships there. Um, and, uh, Spanish ladies. Ooh, speedy fucker. And dead. Hey, buddy. Get fucked. Come on, turn. Turn! Ba da da ba bum 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 ba da ba da bum bum bum. What did you have on you? Anything worth it? Eh? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? We'll pick a fight. By which I mean full speed and pass through their hole. <laughs> okay, back to travel speed. And your time. There you go. I always start that song too high for myself.
Oh shoot, this is not so. Nah. Where am I? Okay, so I just need to take a hard left. That's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie, lie, lie. That's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie, lie, lie. Revenge. Hey, old bonnet. Flying your own flag at last. Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. <coughs> Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A very good borrow to you. I love Steed so much. He's such a sweetheart. And the unfortunate thing is, if I remember correctly, he's... Hold, hold that thought, Thatch. But if I remember correctly, Steed goes off and never sees Edward again in the game. That was their last time they saw each other, if I remember correctly. Until much, much later in the game. When Edward finds his skeleton, if I remember correctly. It's a little bit of spoilers, but if you know how the golden age of piracy goes in history, if you know how it went and you know how each of these people that Edward knew and was friends with, if you know what happens to them, if you know history, you know what's coming. Families and countrymen. How else to explain your government's complete disinterest in your well being? Hostages for Madsend! These were my only terms. Of my servant. 
It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to barter with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise since. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. We're fine, are they? Shit. I have to restart that. I went the wrong way. Exactly. You're putting on a whole fucking performance. That's the fucking plan. I love Blackbeard. I, I love Blackbeard in this game. Um, all of the characters in this game are just beautiful. Um, I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. Excuse me. Days already. So it's a good bet. Someone out there has prepared the medicine. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. Thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Sail, Captain. Speed will do us no favors here. Careful with the banks. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! Okay, let me quickly make sure. Okay, no, no special effect, no special side options.
Hello, sir. Nothing here but us. But the us. Come here. Come here. Quickly. All right. So they're talking. Nobody's watching the bell. Okay. Just gonna. Okay, so I can't go that way. Alright, fine. Ouch. Optionals yet. All right. Sleep darts and crocodiles and skin a croc. Okay. Okay. Done and done. To the right, yeah.
Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, all the way back here. Do I have to redo all the... I have to redo all the things. Okay. Shush you. I'm gonna come over here and skin you. Well, I mean, you're only partially wrong. There's something coming straight for you. And it's deadly as hell. Dude got eight. <sighs> to make sure I don't have any more things, okay. Okay, 
Okay, what is... Nothing. Okay. That was the cleanest run I've made of that attack attempt on him. Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? <laughs> you should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead, huh? I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself Captain. Another year. I feel that in my bones, my dude. Yeah, lad. <clears throat> in this world. Or the one below. Feel that in my bones. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so it's been a minute since we've been in this section of the game. Um, let's do a little bit of hacky wacky. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, excuse me. All right. Um, All breached. Uh, Olivier, here's the initial presentation I received. It's a little light on facts, but these guys know what they're doing. We'll know more when they arrive on Monday. Let me know if you feel like attending, John. Bloom! Bloom Corporation! That's the, uh, that's the evil corporation from Watch Dogs in case you were looking for a connection. So yeah, they presented, uh, they're talking, they're presenting CTOS to Abstergo. Um, All right, so we have, I, I don't remember how much of this I've shown on stream. Um, I don't remember how much of this I did off stream. So I'm just gonna quickly do a little brief. So we had the Abstergo Entertainment, which was just then the Abstergo Entertainment Employee Passport. <clears throat> and then here's the post-mortem of Subject 17. 
December 23rd, 2012. Being Desmond Sample Miles. Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes, with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, From him putting his hand on that thing like before. and having the solar flare Their course through his body. The torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and, I'm told, proceeding with exceptional ease. Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. Which is what my what the noob, the character I'm playing as in this game, is running on. Okay, uh, it's been a few weeks since the last recording. Sorry about that. Of course, I guess it's just a few seconds for you. I'm gonna leap down the playlist. Um, anyway, uh, I was talking about Clay. Uh, uh, actually, I'll wait till I have all of these memos before playing them. Great minds in history. We hacked a thing and got a thing about the Rodrigo Borgia. Uh, these are all the sticky notes I've found so far, which is not all of them, but. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's another computer over here. Don't mind me, just innocently hacking a computer. The anti kythera mechanism. Or whatever. Originally assumed to be an analog computing device built for the purposes of determining the future positions of astral bodies. Abstergo industry scientists have recently discovered that the mechanism is merely one small portion of a much larger tool, a so called prognostication machine thought to have been used by the first civilization to make probability based predictions of future events it has been confirmed for instance that our precursor race used such a device in conjunction with their inherent precognitive abilities to locate and contact desmond miles the source of the subjects of the sample 17 strand for purposes that shall remain classified it is also known that due to the nature of these quantum probability measurements that such machines would have been exceedingly difficult to use and that many hundreds or thousands of trials would have been needed to peak such great distances into the future. Baghdad battery. This is a lot of interesting lore that I don't want to take the time on stream to read about. I don't you know what? Fuck it, I will. Baghdad Battery, a, mystery, a mystery that has puzzled scientists for decades. The Baghdad Battery's ultimate secret has finally been discovered. This year, researchers at Abstergo Industries determined that these batteries contained, at one time, a synthetic precursor element capable of producing power by harnessing energy generated by the passage of time. Eerily similar to what theoretical physicists have called time crystals. <clears throat> this unknown crystalline me uh, material was able to generate tiny but unlimited levels of energy simply by siphoning energy from the passage of time itself. Though minute, the resulting power was likely enough to power a small LED, resulting in a humble but incredibly efficient means of producing light. 
to to date a functioning precursor time crystal has not been located the blood vials which is what edward was carrying around to uh at the start of the game and delivered to the templars little is known about the function of these blood vials uh though dozens have been found since abstergo took an interest in their recovery at some point in the late 1980s to date only three have been found with their original contents intact and of these only one contained a confirmed sample of a of precursor dna abstergo in industries executives have expressed a particular interest in locating more D uh, precursor dna and if possible samples of our so-called mitochondrial eve as far-fetched as this, as this sounds, please take special care to identify any vials you might stumble upon in a memory replay. Unfortunately, as the average half-life of DNA is a mere 500 years, <laughs> mere 500 years, any sample old enough to belong to either source, um, 80,000 years or more, will have degraded well beyond usefulness. We suspect that it would require a minimum of over 250 similarly preserved samples and a hell of a lot of luck to sequence an entire precursor genome, though the true figure is probably closer to 500. The Crystal Skulls these ancient tools have been found on a few separate occasions at alleged precursor sites throughout the world. All are communication devices to some degree, though although it's a three distinct varieties have been discovered so far. The first crystal skulls worked much like the mobile tele uh, telephony devices we use today. I don't why not just say cell phone anyway. Uh, these allowed multi-node communication between all who possessed a working device. A second skull, a crystal skull, was later discovered to have a record and, or a record and playback function, meaning a user could record and send audiovisual messages to multiple parties as frequently as he saw fit. A third set of crystal skulls discovered only recently seemed to have acted as as passive monitoring devices much like televisions in a multi-camera surveillance uh, system setup as yet the cameras on the opposite end of the setup have not been found it is unclear why these communication devices were designed to resemble such a macabre piece of anatomy but we have no reason to suspect that our precursor race as intelligent as they were didn't occasionally fall fall victim to gaudy fashion these memory seals these devices powerful in function but limited in scope were used by the precursor first civilization to record brief memory impressions which could then be played back or re-experienced by another user at a later date judging by their scarcity fewer than 40 have ever been found or accounted for it appears that these seals were not wielded casually by the precursor race but were intended for use only by the wealthiest and most powerful members of that society to date no seals containing rec recorded precursor memories have been found and only a few have been known to contain any information whatsoever the seals used by the assassin altair ibn la ahad ibn la ahad there we go let's not stumble over the name put some respect on that name <laughs> Uh, to pass memory information through Ezio Auditore da Firenze are suspected to be functional to this day, but as of this writing, the, their whereabouts are unknown. As a point of interest, it can be revealed that many of Abstergo's early breakthroughs in genetic memory technology came about through close study of these artifacts, although current animus technology is not based on their architecture. Um... So yeah, what they're referencing with Ezio and Altair is uh, the stuff from uh, the little discs from Assassin's Creed Revelations. Fascinating puzzle as yet unsolved. We are deeply interested in finding the person or persons responsible for the creation of this magnificent and mystifying tome. All researchers, yeah, all researchers assigned to European subjects Living in the 15th and 16th centuries should be advised to pay special heed to any mention of this, excuse me, this rare and valuable artifact, though recent carbon dating has given the manu a manuscript a birth date of 1405 or thereabouts. Abstergo Industries has 
uncovered highly classified information that complicates this theory greatly one subject of great interest to us is the is this in this endeavor is the english philo uh, philosopher roger bacon bacon that's another audio file series which we'll get in time I'll I'll go through all the audio audio files when I have all of them. We'll go through them in order. Bacon. This is the bathroom. Bacon. 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 All right, he's still there. Bacon. I'm pretty sure I've done all of these. Yep, 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 yep. The red screens mean that they've been hacked by me. I have not been in here yet because I don't have the password for it. Well, I don't have the code. I don't have the access for it. Security was at my desk. That what happened. I saw them asking you questions. Yeah. They confiscated yeah, I was... my animus key, and now my position here is under review. Are you Ooh. Oh. That's scary. Oh ho. He came across something and is now in trouble. Okay. Okay. Uh I can't go in there yet. Oop, that's a tree. I believe I've hacked all of these. Yes. Okay. All right. So I was supposed to meet with Melanie LeMay. Melanie. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. God, I love her. She's so peppy. To the CCO, huh? The Coco. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Which is an actual trailer for the game that actually came out. Cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes, and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. Thank you for the apology. I'm getting I'm getting a shiver in me timbers just thinking about it. Melanie, I think you need to have a conversation with HR, my girl. All right. Uh we've read that. Look, hi there. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the team. We should have lunch sometime once you're settled. Oh, thank you, Chloe. Uh, Evan Dean, welcome aboard. Ahoy, mate. Welcome to the good ship Abstergo Entertainment, where everything is always jolly and we all love our work to death. Glad to have you aboard. I hope you're fun. The last guy was a little dull and, well, just kidding. See you around. M.O. Nice to meet you. I just wanted to say it's so good having a new face on the team. This is a great place to work, but some people can get a little negative at times. No shit. It's everywhere. If you know what I mean. Let's get a coffee later. John from IT. Hey, John here. Nice meeting you. If you have any problems with your animus, feel free to shoot me a message. I don't extend this privilege to everyone, but Melanie tells me you know your stuff good enough for me. Evan Dean researching something. Hey there, buddy pal. What's that you they've got you researching over there? Hush, hush, top secret. Good for you. I'm a you Abstergo protege, you. Good for you, you Abstergo protege, you. God. Damn. At least they trust someone. Glad it's you. Because you'd rather it not be you. Security team. Security warning. Due to the recent data leak, new security measures will be instated. Please remember to follow all guidelines concerning your communicator, cubicle, and as always, honor and respect your NDA. Support team, window cleaners. Attention, throughout the week, window cleaners will be active outside the building on all floors. Please take care to maintain the confidentiality of your research and report any anomalous behavior to security or a manager. I mean, fair. All right, diary. Do I have a diary? Uh, Work diary, week one. 
My first day at work, and I have been assigned to the most prestigious uh, project in the company, the Sample 17 Project. My job is to research the life of pirate Edward Ken... Kenwaway. Kenwaway. And find promising footage for use in future Abstergo products. Sample 17 executive producer Melanie LeMay is a passionate and energetic leader, and the company's CCO, Olivier Garneau, seems like a fun guy. I can't wait to get uh, to settle in and get to work. And then a small favor, work diary, week two. Talk to Melanie LeMay about rewards and bonuses. Visited Olivier Garneau in his office. He asked me to prioritize Edward's search for something called the Observatory. Was contacted by John from IT. He asked me to access a colleague's computer and recover a video file for him. I delivered this video file, uh, a strange autopsy autopsy video, to a courier uh, to a courier named Rebecca in the lobby. I also noticed the barista here is a bit of a dandy, a bit annoying. I love Sean. Lay off Sean. So far, so good. A really productive week. Aw, buddy. All right, my files. We've already been looking at those map okay computer to hack there security room there oh wrong button i want that back come on map mission log okay yep bonjour ça va i hope we're not late no you can go right hi melanie i saw you just walked in i need a few minutes with you alone leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the kenway project oh yes of course Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Sounds good. Shouldn't be long. Yeah, hold that thought. I need to just make that go away. Shouldn't be long. Yep. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Head to the right of Olivier's office. Uh, and if the receptionist complains, act like you're using the toilets. Okay, well, I'm just, um, I'm just gonna, yep, yeah. uh-huh, okay. Now, I think I already got the sticky note that's over here, because I think I did that the last time I was up here. Yep, okay. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba -da -ba 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 locked door. Not a problem. Voila. You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control station first. There's level three. I'll update your communicator. You need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. Ah, here we go. I'm sorry if that came up wrong. We are not trying to be a bottleneck here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works. Hmm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Letitia, rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. And thank <laughs> you. The both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. Looking forward. 
forward to it. Bye bye. Tabarnak! It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? We do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. Templars, crazy talk. I'm curious sure. about this crazy. shareholders meeting, though. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you. <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life. So, do as I say. Now, step over to the window. Another sticky note. through the door throw yourself off the terrace i mean i genuinely wish that i could you know just fuck around and find out and just yeet off it off the mountain off the thing but they don't let you damn so oh, well done kiddo find his computer make it snappy we're looking for the shareholders meeting schedule it's worth a lot of money to us Althea's sword, pistols, some daggers of Ezio, some more pistols. First try. To Melanie LeMay, Kama Neron, Chloe Lesney. Chloe, I think, was the one who wanted to have dinner with me sometime. And Christopher Darby, Evan, uh, and Evan Dean. Hey, a lot of those names are people who comment, uh, contacted me and wanting to have lunch or coffee or something. Salut. As most of you know, I'll be attending the Chicago shareholders meeting from the 15th to the 17th, and they'll want to see our progress with the Kenway line. The small amount of data we have already gathered is incredible, and we anticipate even more amazing friend, finds, not friends, finds in the future. Uh, the, the events and people we have seen so far make us confident about the complete experience We've seen so far make us confident that the complete experience will be one of the most eye-popping explorations excuse me of piracy ever seen it will take quite a bit of work to scrub the, the data of objectionable and classified material but we already have some incredibly promising footage at the same time abstergo entertainment will soon be announcing a closed beta for our new consumer cloud interface app sexy name forthcoming um, the cons the consumer name interface, uh, the consumer cloud interface app, I believe, is what's later known as Helix, which is what the is this which is the system that runs, 
uh, that uh, Assassin's Creed Unity and Assassin's Creed Syndicate both exist on. Um, <laughs> sexy name forthcoming. <laughs> Edward Kenway's virtual pri a pirate experience will be the first complete product on offer and the first of its kind anywhere, an immersive interactive pirate experience drawn from actual historical data Internal tests of our consumer cloud app have been encouraged, and we anticipate it will be ready in time for the next holiday season, if everything goes according to plan. So this leads us to a broader question. What other experiences would we like to offer? What other historical periods and locations can we explore? Judging by our current rate of data retrieval, our capacity to produce, and our understanding of consumption trends, executives at Abstergo Industries have given me the goal of producing one complete virtual experience per annum, um, or per probably per year. Um, in addition to smaller offerings, as our research allows, this includes books, recordings, films, and any other transmedia offerings. A second related question is this, does Sample 17 contain enough compelling data to sustain our current commitment to it? Or should we make a request to Abstergo Industries for additional archived data? Uh, remember that data from Sample 1 proved fruitful enough to create our liberation product about Aveline the Grand Prix because remember she was the first game that was released and then the concept was we were playing it when um Erudito hacked into like was hacked in and revealed the truth um it is very likely that research into samples 2 through 16 would bear surprising fruits as well thoughts Olivier, Garn Olivier Garneau, Chief Creative Officer of Sergo Entertainment. Two people from Melanie. Possible regarding possible locations. Hello all, thanks for uh, thanks for opening the discussion, Olivier. Just a brief heads up with where we stand now. I've been the Sample uh, 17 Project Director for just over a year now, and my team and I have been able to cobble together a rough list for the most interesting time periods available to us through this single genetic sample. Remember this data that has already been fully or part Remember, this is data that has already been fully or partially sequenced by Abstergo Industries. I'll try to be brief. Patrilineal line, so through the father. Uh, so through Desmond's dad, we've got the Italian Renaissance in the 15th century, Ezio. 16th century Ottoman Empire, also Ezio. Um, 18th century American colonies, War for Independence. So that would be Haytham and Connor. And then the 19th century is New England and American Midwest. Then through the matrilineal line, we have the 12th century Holy Land Crusades, Alta Ear, um, 13th century Egypt and Northern Africa. Uh, I... No, that's not. That's not Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, 14th century, century Ashikaga Shogunate in Japan. I probably butchered that name. Apologies. Uh, 18th century French Revolution, which we know, which is coming. It's Assassin's Creed Unity. Um. 19th century Napoleonic Wars and and Taiwan uh, or and Taiwan uh, 20th century Summer of Love American Pacific Coast obviously this is just a small sample of the potential options the number of ancestors any one person has is well above 30,000 after just 15 generations so there could be many more surprises waiting for us within Sample 17. However, despite Sample 17's rich heritage, we should not limit ourselves to this alone if we have concrete leads elsewhere. For instance, quite a few men from all sides of my family fought in both world wars, and I even have a great-great-grandfather who fought in the American Civil War. Managed to meet President Lincoln a few times too. Going this route is a little more costly and time consuming since the data has not already been sequenced, but it could be rewarding in the long run. 
<clears throat> in short, if anyone has any confirmed connections to interesting historical events, periods, or cities, or knows of people who do, please share. I will also be reviewing the past three decades of samples collected and sequenced by Abstergo Industries. I recently learned that one of their samples, number two, I believe, participated in the trial of Jean de Jean, um, Joan of Arc. God. Uh, there's so there's a nice lead there from Melanie LeMay. I love that they censored the titty. Um, Wild West, Joan of Arc, French Revolution. I, I, I love they censored the titty. Um, I think that's World War One. Uh, that might be somewhere in Italy. Here's Egypt. To Melanie LeMay, Kaman Neron, etc., etc., etc. From Olivier, possible regarding possible locations. All good points, Mel. A word of caution, though. Sample two comes from the late Dr. Warren Vidic himself. Collected at some point in the early 80s when he was a young engineer working at Abstergo Industries. So, as tempting as Joan of Arc experience sounds, I'm not sure Abstergo Industries would be too keen on letting us rummage around in Dr. Vidic's DNA. It's a sensitive topic. For my own part, I'm related to Francois Xavier Garneau, uh, noted, uh, etc. Uh, this is taking way too long. <laughs> Uh, on additional uh, one additional caveat, let's avoid digging into any pr uh, modern periods, aka 20th century, unless we find something incredibly compelling. Ba uh, because as fun as World War II setting might sound, we do well to avoid any settings with vehicles, cars, motorcycles, helicopters, tanks, etc. Why you may ask? Because our research has shown that memory imprinting in in, in individuals is actually hampered by the semi semi catatonic state most people enter when driving for a medium and long periods of time. <laughs> Accurate. Um, and this makes data retrieval somewhat more difficult. In short, we don't want to go through the effort of coding extra animus features just for the sake of digging up memories of people driving around in cars. There are other and more efficient ways to experience that. Uh, from Chloe. Quebec City is beautiful, but without pirates, ninjas, or zombies. I'm not so sure how well a story about a historian would sell. Uh, also, keep in mind, samples 4 and 16 might also be off limits, too. While doing my own research last month, I caught wind of some exciting characters buried in these gene samples. But as soon as I started digging, I was told by people far, far above me to stop. Very odd, but not surprising, I suppose. AE has a lot of active military contracts, and I assume these had something to do with that. I didn't push back. Templar bullshit. We know that sample 16 is based off of Clay Caxmeric, and he was heavily involved in looking. Uh, his his samples were very specifically used for finding uh, apples of Eden and the like. So, <clears throat> yeah. As far as my own, if anyone is interested, my great grandfather was friends with Hemingway and Stein and, Sa and Sadie and Picasso when he lived in Paris in 1920s. No action-packed adventures there, but historically interesting. Just throwing it out there. P.S. Chris, is our lunch meeting on site or off? From Olivier. Yes, as much as I love the lost generation, I think our first few ex virtual experiences will need to be a little more action-oriented, so wars and major combat operations are always a good starting point, or any periods of intense conflict, really. As for pirates, ninjas, and zombies, you could we could always accommodate the first two, but zombies are a bit, how do you say, ahistorical. Too bad, really. Well... From Christopher Darby. My great-grandmother, for instance, worked alongside Eamon de Val Valera and Michael Collins for many years during the Irish War, for independence, so it wouldn't be hard, uh, too difficult to sequence that small segment of my own genetic memories for our purposes. Olivier, actually, there is a factual basis for zombies or zombification. Anyway, read Hurston's novel, uh, uh, Hurston's book on Haiti. Excuse me, and the strange voodoo practice there. It may not be Hollywood-style zombie magic, but it's creepy nonetheless. In Liberation, Aveline came into contact with voodoo hoongans. 
Uh, if we dug further into that, I wonder what we could find. Her mentor, Agate, was into some weird stuff. Uh, to Chloe, off-site, there's a new vegetarian place I want to try. I'll bring the spec sheets. They're already printed. From Kama. I'm not going to... How much more is there? Okay, so there's three more. Okay. Sorry to be a dissenter, but couldn't we be using this technology to educate, not placate? I mean, theoretically, we have all of human history to explore all of our achievements and brightest moments. Uh, so it's a little disheartening to hear we need to focus on wars and conflicts and violence. It's not that I'm against violence per se. It's just that violence isn't terribly interesting in bulk. That's all. There's so much more nuance to life, and I think we could explore that. So what if we found the memories of someone who worked with Albert Einstein in his patent office, or Charles Darwin in the Beagle, or on the Beagle, I mean, <clears throat> or Marie Curie um, in France, moments where humans showed their very best potential. Uh, from Evan Dean. Okay, come on. Until oily... <clears throat> Until oily, humorless university professors start paying us eight-figure fees fair to research the re uh, the reification of normative gender... Sig I give up. We don't have to stick... Why don't we stick to shit that sells? I mean, fair. I'm talking Jack the Ripper in Victorian London, which is a thing they do. I'm talking about guillotines, Robespierre, Napoleon Bonaparte, um, in the French Revolution. I'm talking about Billy the Kid and Wyatt Earp in the wild American West. I'm talking about Genghis Khan and the Mongols killing a city of millions in the span of a long summer weekend. Action, blood, adventure, conflict. Because we're not going to earn back one-tenth of the money we have poured into this reliving the memories of the guy who sat next to Einstein as he bit his nails while working out the finer details of general relativity in his head. For fuck's sake, man, this is a business, not a group therapy session. From Olivier to Evan, let's take this offline. <laughs> Olivier, here's the presentation I received. It's a little light on facts, but these guys know what they're doing. We'll know more when they arrive on Monday. Let me know if you feel like attending John. And that's back to that. You sneaky bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. As gullible as ever. What did you tell her? You sent her off now fucking I'll crying. The lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Ma'am? Ma'am, are you okay? Hello? That reception is just poof, gone. What did he tell her that made her cry? Like, for real. God, I love this building. Did you uh, like the aloe jay? I practiced. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh, come on. It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody copy. Oh, hooray. It's our old friend. Hey there. I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, you said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Go, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. 
So the assassins now know where the Templar Olivia Gun. They know what they're doing. Olivia well Garno. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. Ma'am, did you say something about Chicago a second ago? Anyway. So the assassins now know about Olivia go Olivia Oh my god, Olivier Garneau going to uh Chicago. And we'll see what happens with that in time. In the meantime, more hacking. Because you know, that's what's exciting. Uh let's see, we need to reach 315. Uh There it is. That's a live feed. Now we wait. Does something interesting happen? Probably not. Let's be real. All right. All right, let's check the map. Uh, just did that. Check that. All right, so we only have a two at the moment. That's a bathroom, if I recall. Let's double check. Yes. And these are both three, so not yet. What's up, Sean? That's a three. All right. Bonjour. Oh, you were talking on the phone. My bad. We've right, been in there. Let's go in here. What does this button do? Sticky note. All right, that's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh, not, not eighteen, nineteen. Okay. What does this button do? That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Okay. So if I go down and then left, up, that does not take me where I need to go. If I go down, it takes me here. Left would take me here. It would just take me right back to where I am. Okay. Oh, 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 I see what I see the matrix. Okay, so I do need to go down, left, up, left. Now. To end up on that. Means. Out of that. I 
That's not the button I wanted. Now, if I do that, does that spit me out in the same direction? It does. Okay. There we go. Just took a little bit of thought, but I got there. Great minds in history. Madeline de Lyle, the, the adopted mother of Aveline de Grand Prix. Master Templar in the Southern Colonies. I still can't believe they called Rodrigo Borgia a family man. All right, let's see what we got. I didn't mean shit, sorry. Uh, okay, so I think I need to do where am I? There we go. Uh, no. That's what I need. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, I went left and then straight down there. No, 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 no. I went right. Right. Then up. Okay, so we'll do right, then up. Right. Nope, that's wrong. I it got me there, but it was wrong. <laughs> it got me there, but I was wrong because it sent because I hadn't oriented it the the sphere correctly. Our researchers looked into the life of Altair Ibn Lahad, hoping to find oh, a God. that might serve as a positive. Uh, at least I'm not that bad. I'll the ear. Outreach programs. Ibn Lahad. This renegade assassin proved to be no such thing. In much of his footage, we see a man gleefully flouting some of his culture's most entrenched taboos with an arrogance that borders on messianic. Altair, no, this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Many of our researchers felt that the arguments articulated by Altair's rival, a man known as Abbas, were clearer and more cogent than any we heard from Altair. I recently put in a request that more effort be dedicated to locating one of Abbas's descendants, if any exist. It's clear to us that Altair's transgressions were the primary motivation behind the ultimate dissolution of his despicable order by the middle of the 13th century. We therefore strongly recommend a pass on this property in favor of a more agreeable and inspiring figure from this era. By which they mean someone who more idealizes the Templar ideals. Hold up, hold up. I saw a, po a painting that I need to look at. Look at her and her badassness. Yes, queen, look at her. All right. How many ancestors do you have? How many of their secrets are locked away in your genes? And how many of their stories are you willing to share with the rest of us? Welcome to the fascinating world of genetic memory retrieval. We here at Abstergo Entertainment now are now poised at the precipice of this exciting new frontier, technology and science that will change the way we view the past and live the future. The coming year, we will be opening studios all across the world, dedicated to a single purpose, collecting and, and archiving the stories locked away in human DNA. And 
we need your help. We're looking for... Ah, there are the blood vials. Mm. We need your help. We're looking for courageous men and women to donate their genetic materials to our historical research teams and help us make uh, help us make rehistory. Donate today. So join the us of Stereo Entertainment where the past is our playground. Yo, that would have been a fucking awesome commercial. Hold on, I need to make a note of something. Give me a second. Sorry, I'm looking for sticky notes. I'll do one last check for sticky notes in a second after I've done with this one. All right. Um, we go there, then down. That will mark me there if I go left. Okay, so I need to go left, down. Oh, I went right past where I needed to go. That, then that. That, then that that and that there we go got there i got there subject 17 phase one reports the surveillance video possibly captured by Erudito or another group is labeled New York, USA, 2012-901-402. Um, this, the accompanying chat transcript was labeled kidnapped data transcript level three. Can someone ask Chase to make sure his men were more, uh, use more professional language going forward? Cell tower grid, blah, 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 blah. Outgoing transmission, blah, 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 interference. Yes, sir. Pause. We have him. Reply scrambled. Yes. Shoving him in the van as we speak, sir. Target will be delivered on schedule. Transmission ends. So that's when they were initially stealing, not stealing, kidnapping Desmond, the Templars were. Poster claimed if Sergo agents have captured an unknown Caucasian male. Uh, victim is in his mid-20s, approximately six feet tall. 190 pounds destination unknown we've already seen these shots this one is labeled italy marked hangar of stereo agents arriving at destination Here's me. brought to hangar after landing victim identified as desmond miles i don't think this has spared to, has spread too far yet location has already been scrubbed so thank so i think we can dismiss this as the ravings of a fanatic. Preliminary analysis. A leaked medical file. We're looking into it. No menstrual menstrual disorders for subject 17, though. That must have been a relief for the public to read. Patient has no active complaints, no acute distress, no prior cardiac history. Blood pressure normal. Primary blood analysis. No significant traces of chemicals that would lead to neurological disorder no indication the patient would be prone to neurosis unlike previous subjects patient is psychologically stable you are clear to proceed signed by Saravakos MD missing person poster friends of subject 17 distributed these all over New York oh Sad face. And his friends, he never, his friends in New York, he never saw them again. 
All right, I was looking for sticky notes. Because he never got to see go back. He went straight from Abstergo to the temp to to the uh, assassins, and then to his death. Just making sure there's no sticky notes here that I'm missing, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Yes, I probably should be doing this outside of stream. Do I care? Honestly, not right now. Sorry, what were you saying about arresting and detaining people? Fine, don't tell me. just that group, you know, they like to, uh, like to what? Uh, hack. Nothing. Yeah, dude has to be careful, because the erudito likes to out the Templar shit online. Dude needs to be careful. Tells the, he talks about them to the wrong person, he can get in trouble. she knows that there is a camera aimed directly at her computer screen. And there's Melanie LeMay. Okay, so he was, so what he got in trouble for was poking around Vidic's DNA, and they don't want him, and because Vidic was a high-ranking Templar, they didn't want him stumbling across something that he shouldn't have been, you know, that he shouldn't know about. So, I mean, that's kind of from Templar, uh, um, from Templar, hey boss, can I come in? I would like to come into the out, please. Actually, I would like to come into the in, please. Anyway, um, bathroom, lady and gent, lady and gent, actually, singular. Computadoras. Sticky note three. Hey, look at that. I am making progress. I oh, know that it's a room. There's a three, three, oh my god, a three security key door. God damn. Oh, excuse me. These will be the last two I hack and then I'm back to the game. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, too soon. Damn, I was doing well too. Memo number one. I don't think I've ever used this phone more than a few times to record anything. <clears throat> uh, hey, Dad. So, uh, we're all here in New York at the motel. It's uh, Queens, actually, in Astoria, near the NQ. Uh, Rebecca 
Rebecca's off getting batteries for something. Sean's in his room doing whatever Sean does. <laughs> and, uh, you're out getting some food. <laughs> Me? Well, I'm supposed to be getting ready to break into some offices in the financial district. Feels just like prepping for one of your old training drills, actually. Ten years go by, and then you show up, and it's like, uh, like I, I was never gone, and we're right back to the ball busting and the conspiracies and the paranoia. Only this time, I believe you. I believe every word. You know, I don't even think you know the half of it. I, I don't think you know how much I've seen, how much I've, I've learned in just a few weeks. Everything, really. I feel like, uh, like I've, I've lived a thousand years, or, or, or ten thousand, maybe. It's impossible to explain. But when you see that much of the world through the eyes of so many, you can't help but be sad. And to see all these incredible, intelligent people fight the same battles, make the same mistakes over and over again. Because culture and knowledge and history, these things, they aren't passed on through our genes. Every kid on Earth needs to relearn the basics. How to live, how to survive, how to stand up for, for what's right. So much is lost in the transfer. So much is added to every generation. It's a shame. And over and over, everything must be learned again. I met Clay, yeah. Clay Gesmeric, in the Animus. I knew him by his Abstergo handle, Subject 16. My, uh, my predecessor. And he showed me things. He passed them to me, just before he died. Or got deleted or whatever. Everything he'd learned, everything he'd seen, God, how do I talk about this? So, um, I guess you, you trained him. Huh? After I left, he really looked up to you, and now that I've seen through his eyes, I, I think I understand why. I'm glad you had him around, even if I wasn't there. The things he showed me. Unbelievable things. And I never... Shit. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Okay, uh, it's been a few weeks since the last recording. Sorry about that. Of course, I guess it's just a few seconds for you. A little leap down the playlist. Um, anyway, uh, I was talking about Clay. Uh, Kesmeric, uh, Subject 16. So, when I fell into a coma back in Italy and woke up in the Animus Black Room, it was uh, so calming. It felt like I... Uh, had woken up into a dream, a haze, a, a dream where none of this mess had ever happened. Uh, felt like I should just be getting ready for. Real quick, I know that my camera is covering some of this text here, but with the audio, I figure that it should be fine. Another day of pouring drinks at bad weather, and uh, another day of complaining about being between girls. If it, if it's if it's not. If it's not for those of you who have trouble hearing it and want to see the subtitles, uh, you can actually find these on the Assassin's Creed wiki, I think. I think, I think you can find the entire transcripts of them. So, you know, I highly recommend if you are interested in the deeper lore of the of Assassin's Creed, actually going to the Assassin's Creed wiki um, because like they they compile everything. They are amazing. I saw Clay, just sitting there, it started to come back, you know, piece by piece, and when he told me about Lucy, I, uh, <sighs> fuck, you know, it, it hurt, you know, you know, realizing that I killed her, without thinking or feeling anything, not at the time, anyway, well, then, 
just kept piling on. There were more memories of Ezio and Altair and the first civilization. Yep. And then right before he vanished, Clay passed on his memories to me. He showed me everything he had seen and lived through, and it was it was brief. The lost archive. Or last archive. DLC. I'm not really sure how to explain. He saw glimpses of Adam and Eve and their escape from slavery. He saw the beginning and the end of the war between the first Civ and humans. He saw Minerva and Juno and Tinia trying to work out their their calculations. At least that's what they called them. They, they had these tools, these powerful uh, machines that could predict possible futures. Not what was going to happen, but what, uh, what, what could happen. Probabilities. And, well, they spent a lot of energy trying to figure out what was the most likely scenario for the future. Theirs and ours. And in the end, I guess they figured I was their most likely candidate. Some guy named Desmond living at the beginning of the 21st century of the Common Era. But which Desmond was the right one? Because... You see, probability is a weird thing. It can branch out in so many ways. Which version of me did they need? Was it the Desmond who got married early and had a son? One who stayed single in New York? Or, or was it the Desmond who moved to San Francisco to be a waiter? Maybe uh, it was the Desmond who worked at an auto body shop in Chicago. Or maybe it was the me who never ran away from his parents in the first place. First Civ had countless variations to choose from, but in the end, the uh, lucky one was me. I'm the Desmond their best calculations spit out. I'm the Desmond they left their messages for, and I guess I have to live with that honor. shoulder and you 
turned around and, oh, fantastic, you said, and you scooped me up and you gave me a big hug and I didn't say anything, but Dad, Dad, I was so pissed off. I wanted to scream at you. I, I failed and you knew it, but you said nothing. And I stayed mad for weeks. I thought you were, you, you were patronizing me. But maybe you decided right there that I was never going to be the man you wanted me to be. But I realized just a few years ago that you checking your watch, that was the clue, wasn't it? You let me win because I had been so patient. I guess that impressed you. You know, maybe at that moment you thought it might be better to be my dad instead of my mentor. I, I don't really know. Maybe for you, they're, they're one and the same. You know, either way, I'm happy to know that both my mentor and my dad are looking out for me that day. I didn't understand that then. I think I do now. These little voice memos are some of my favorite things in this game. Are you going to be another Desmond voice memo? I don't remember how many there are. Nope. Recovered media from Subject 17, though. Uh, so footage, pictures, etc. There's Sean. Driving the van. There's Desmond about to take a leap of faith off the, one of the tallest buildings in New York. When, and when he went to Sao Paulo in uh, Assassin's Creed 3 for that one mission. Feet in the sand on the beach. Rebecca enjoying music. Dad. All of them outside the cave in... Little kitty! A little kitty! A little kitty! All right, back to the animus we go. You have a right to arrest and detain people too. It's crazy. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I totally was this. I totally was, but I wasn't. I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline. Not when I need your faith the most. Back in Nassau. What are you wearing, Edward? Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> okay, calm down, Jack Sparrow. And it's how is it is you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? to know my secrets would you oh i give me a small hint like or a large one if you're an upright gentleman open your hand oh who's shooting might be them ships sliding into port she pulls a pistol <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> 
Yeah, Jack Rackham is one of the pirates that Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean is heavily, heavily based on. All right. Edward, what the fuck are you wearing, my dude? You are not wearing your normal outfit, and I don't think I can change you without being back at the ship. But all right, before we go, I am looking for a four-leaf clover. Um, This right here. bombs okay should have checked to see what I was wearing I think it's one of the hold on let's see here governor's outfit officers stealth got Morgan Steve bonnet Captain Drake Edward the legend hunter outfit feline pelt outfit the shark hunter outfit Whaler outfit. I think it was the whaler outfit he was wearing. Out the air, Ezio, Connors, Brown Cloak, Crimson Cloak, Private Cloak, I mean, Private Outfit, Privateer Outfit, even. Pirate Cloak, Pirate Captain Outfit, Merchant Outfit, Politician's Outfit. So, yeah. Yeah, I think he was wearing the whaler outfit or the. or whatever. Go ahead and dump some of the un uh, excess bullshit that I don't need anymore. At least for now. I can always get more later. Uh, sell that because I don't need that. Uh, I have that. I don't think I need any more of these. Also, since I'm here, let's go ahead and pop in and check on the jackdaw. Buy ammo mortar. Yeah. My fair winds fight. Parley. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the king's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a lick of good. Men like you are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Does he now? Well, well, well. You stop. Damn it. I was just too far to shank him.
right, let's try that again without attracting attention, shall we? You saw nothing? Is this the town of Square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your man. Rack of vain. The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochran as well. He knows not to invite me because I would start a fucking fight. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. Kill guards while hanging from a ledge. Easy. Need to remember to do it.
Come on, Edward. Edward. There you go, my dude. There's one. That's not what I wanted, Edward. Let's, let's climb back up to the top and fucking try again, shall we? He's hidden. Hold on. If I just go up, can I go up from here? No. Okay. Hi, dude. Bye, dude. Okay. Now then. I believe that we don't have an easy way up from here. <clears throat> All right, so back to this over here. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Nope, not yet. Hi. Goodbye. Nothing? He just went for a swim. It's fine. He's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. He's fine. You know what? You look really uncomfortable and hot in that uniform. How about you go for a swim, too?
Oh, hi. Shoot, I didn't even see him. I can still sabotage the alarm bell, but it has been activated. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, let's try that a different way, shall we? Oh, shoot. Hold on. I just realized I need to change my uh, one of my bot messages. Give me a second. Quick second. Quick see doodle second. Uh, stream elements. Um, day through Wednesday, no, wait, Monday, Tuesdays. Yep. Right. Uh, this button. Make sure I do need to just sabotage the alarm bell, okay. Come on, let me... Why wouldn't you y let me yank him into the thing, dumbass? You take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. 
or until such time, all of you will be confined in the cell. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace! Commodore Chamberlain, we are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what dignity we Pits. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobby. Check your head, Ben. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth is telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you folks all headed fuddlers, see you at the gallows. You'll all be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I said it's fine. Don't worry about it. Bum, bum, bum. So while we're waiting on that to cool down, we go. Let's go back to. The gunpowder plot. Nah, we'll save that for next time. We'll save that for next time. It is 10 o'clock. So that's a good place to call it for now. Um, thank you all for hanging out with me and spending some time with me. I know that there was a big chunk where I was just doing like random hacking shit. But there was those very important lore drops in there that you know i personally enjoy and i know that some people probably do, other people do as well that i want to to be sure to include because they are important to the overreaching storyline of the series of the game series um let me actually make sure that i'm talking i am talking okay good um so i hope you all have been enjoying this i hope you all have a great rest of your evening um tomorrow we'll be playing tomb raider angel of darkness and um I'm trying to think, do we have anything else to say? Uh yeah, actually. Uh check out these amazing people I here have listed up here up at the top. I have even more <clears throat> recommendations listed in my link tree down below, which is link tree slash K-R-I-M-Z-O-N-K-N-I-G-H-T. Uh, if you go there, you'll find recommendations, like I said, but also you'll find links to my socials. Uh, I have a Facebook page, an Instagram, a Twitter, uh, places where you can get updates for uh, when I'm going live and what I'll be playing and the like. Um, and uh, also in there is a link, to, should be a link to my Discord, uh, where if you're not already in my Discord, uh, you can jump in, say hey to me and my friends, and hang out and get updates and all that wonderful stuff more directly. Um, there's also a link to my Patreon in there where you can support me, uh, support me directly without having to go through Twitch. Um, and also I have a link to my YouTube where you can watch this and all my other streams. In fact, actually speaking of YouTube, if you are watching this on YouTube, thank you for your, uh, viewership. Please check out any of, uh, check, please check out my other, uh, videos on my channel. Um, there are, there are playlists that have been popping up in the corner, uh, throughout the, uh, come on throughout the corner uh, and up in the corner of the video and the cards uh throughout the, co the course of the stream um there's also 
uh, of the video i mean uh there's also at the end of this at the end if you want to just skip past the credits or listen to the song it's up to you um <clears throat> Uh, you'll find even more. Uh, you'll find some other uh, playlist uh, recommendations as well, if you so choose. If not, it's up to you. I appreciate you. Please, at the very least, please hit the like button on your way out. Um, maybe leave a comment telling me how stupid I am. <laughs> telling me how stupid and boring I am. I greatly appreciate it. Um, anyway, uh... trying to think. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it from me. Um, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everything. Love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all tomorrow for more Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness. I love you all. Peace out.